Have you ever bought a high-speed RAM kit only to find out your PC isn't running it at full speed when you boot it up? Feels like buying a sports car when it's stuck in first gear. She is holding first gear the whole way! Well, today we're fixing that. We'll show you how to unlock that sweet speed with just a few clicks using XMP or Expo, depending on your setup. Think of it as you giving your system a shot of NOS. More speed, more performance, and way more fun. Hit the NOS. We're gonna show you how to enable those profiles, run quick stability tests to make sure your system's race ready, and cover a few things to remember before overclocking with the XPG Lancer RGB DDR5 DRAM. Now, if you're the type who wants to push your RAM even further, we'll also share tips on keeping temps in check for smoother heat dissipation simple, safe, and designed to give you the performance you paid for. What is up, good people? This is Jay. Now let's get started. When you first boot up a new RAM kit with your BIOS in default setting, it usually runs at safe, slower speeds. But that's not what you paid for. The real performance is locked behind XMP on Intel or Expo on AMD. Think of these like your RAM's built-in turbo button or hitting NOS in a race car. Just a couple of clicks in your BIOS and you're instantly running at full speed. Now, getting into the BIOS depends on your motherboard brand, but the manual will always tell you which key to press. On our ROG board, we just mash the Dell button during boot. Now, inside the BIOS, you'll want to look for the memory profile. For us, it's under the AI overclock tuner. Here we see two options, XMP1 and XMP2. Now, XMP1 is Asus's optimized profile, while XMP2 is the one directly from XPG. We'll go with XMP2 for now because we know that it is tuned for extra stability. Of course, stability isn't just in the tuning, it's also in the build. The XPG Lancer RGB DDR5 DRAM uses high quality ICs and PCBs designed for reliable overclocking and consistent performance. It's that attention to component quality helps keep things steady once you enable these profiles. Now, quick tip before buying RAM or enabling XMP or Expo, it's always a good idea to check your motherboard's QVL list on the manufacturer's website. It's basically the compatibility sheet showing which RAM kits have been tested and confirmed to work at their rated speeds. Okay, back in Windows, you can confirm it worked by opening Task Manager, Performance, Memory, and you should see the RAM speed you want. You can also use CPU-Z under the Memory tab. Just remember, DDR means double data rate. So if you see 3,000 there, that actually means 6,000 effective. Once you've enabled your RAM profile, like tuning a race car, you don't take it straight to the finish line without a test lap because we need to make sure everything's running smoothly and that the system is stable. That is where stress testing tools come in. Programs like ADA64 or Memtest86 are basically your virtual racetrack. They push your RAM hard to check if it can handle the advertised speed without any errors or crashes. ADA64 works for a quick check, but for deeper testing, I prefer Memtest86. It's more thorough and can catch small issues other tools might miss. Some motherboards even have it built right into the BIOS, but if not, you can easily create a bootable USB to run it outside of Windows. For thorough testing, let Memtest 86 run for a few passes or even a few hours if you want that peace of mind. It's basically like putting your car through an endurance race instead of just one lap. Now, what really makes the XPG Lancer RGB DDR5 DRAM ideal for this is its on-die ECC. It automatically corrects minor memory errors in real time, helping your system stay stable even under stress. Now, in case you run into errors or crashes, don't panic. It's like hearing a knock under the hood. <laughs> Annoying, yes, but fixable. You can try switching to the other XMP or Expo profile or dial back the speed slightly until the system holds steady. Remember, stability and speed go hand in hand. Benchmarks are great for validation, but what does this really mean when you're actually gaming or working? Well, 
Faster RAM speeds and tighter timings won't magically double your FPS, but they do help smooth out frame pacing and can give you those extra frames that make gameplay feel more responsive. In competitive games, that can be the difference between hitting your shot or missing it. For creators, faster memory helps with things like large file transfers, 3D rendering, or video editing. Basically, anywhere bandwidth matters. Now, here's the catch. The gains depend on your CPU and motherboard combo. Some setups see bigger benefits than others, but when it's tuned right, your whole system just feels snappier and more consistent. Here's something most people don't think about. Yes, RAM can actually get hot, and when it does, that heat can lead to errors, instability, or crashes. Now, for normal XMP or Expo profiles, you usually won't have to worry too much. But if you plan on pushing your kit past those rated speeds, then temps start to matter. So here are a few ways to help with heat dissipation. RAM Air Coolers Small dedicated fans that clip over your modules. Motherboard fan mounts. Some high-end boards actually include brackets to direct airflow right onto the memory sticks. Liquid cooling. Extreme, but yes, there are RAM water blocks out there if you're going all in on overclocking. Bottom line, if you're chasing high speeds, keeping your RAM cool can make the difference between a stable overclock and random errors popping up mid-game. So before you start cranking up memory speeds, here are a few key things to remember. 1. System Compatibility Not every CPU and motherboard combo benefits the same way from faster RAM. Always check your board's QVL list to make sure your kit is supported. 2. Stability matters most An overclock isn't worth it if your system keeps crashing. This is why it's important to stick with reputable memory brands like XPG, which test their RAMs for stability and reliability, giving you that extra peace of mind. 3. Voltage, Heat, and Power Higher speeds usually require more voltage, which generates more heat and also demands more from your power supply. That's also where the XPG Lancer RGB DDR5 DRAM stands out. It's built with its own power management IC or PMIC that keeps voltage delivery stable and efficient even when your system's running full throttle. So you get steady performance without wasting power. See, at the end of the day, the most important thing about RAM tuning is finding that sweet spot where performance and stability go hand in hand. And that's it! With just a few clicks, you've taken your RAM from cruising speed to race ready. Enabling XMP or Expo is actually one of the easiest upgrades you can do, and it makes sure you're getting the performance you paid for. Always remember to keep an eye on stability and if you're planning to push past those stock profiles, make sure your cooling and power setup can handle it. That way, you'll have a system that not just fast, but dependable. So go ahead and jump into BIOS, flip that switch, and enjoy the ride. And that is it for us in this video. Of course, to know more about XVG's latest products and offers, be sure to check out their socials. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next Next one again, my name is Jay telling you to keep that smile, stay positive, rock on, and rock hard.